Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to successfully undelete, undelete slash recover a file uh, from NTFS drive on Ubuntu. So here I've got a file. I had a file on this uh, partition, large partition, NTFS right, and I deleted that file so that I recovered it for this tutorial. Uh, the file was and okay why are we saying undelete and why not recover because if you deleted a file recently you probably know the date when it was deleted you know you might know the file size and also the extension and the file name because these are all important so uh, let's go ahead with the tutorial i deleted the file and i have unmounted right i have unmounted the drive I've unmounted the partition completely and now we are going to recover it with NTFS undelete and we are going to save it to this partition uh, which is mounted at slash media slash disk hyphen one moving on if you are on Windows there is this neat utility already out there with the help of which you can recover files easily but this is on Ubuntu, this tutorial is on Ubuntu, so you have to read this whole document. There are many switches over here, and you read the whole text, understand the command, understand the switch. For different switches, there are different operations out there. So once you do that, you'll get your file recovered successfully. Um, so I'll move ahead with the tutorial. Okay. Can you read this? I hope you can. Okay. I'm giving uh, well administrative privileges. This is the command. This is the drive, right? Slash dev slash sdb2. Sdb2. This is my NTFS drive. Sl hyphen u. U specifies the recovery mode. So we are going to undelete the file. This is the undelete mode. Minus i is the okay. Why am I doing this? Why am I trying to make this tutorial complex? I'll just uh, go step by step. Somehow my key doesn't seem to work. Anyways, here. Uh, uh, what happened? Yeah, I know what happened. SDP two. So this is the first uh, step. Step number one. This is the device. This is the command. Press enter. Now it will scan for all the deleted files. So these are the files. These are the files that I have deleted recently. And actually this is the file that I have deleted for this tutorial. Why? I'll tell you later. Because the file size was around 300 MB. As you can see this is in bytes. 313844102. Probably this is the file. And as you can see the age over here. It can be recovered 100%. I mean the chances of the file being recovered is 100%. This is the node node which we need which is very important that's why I told you to read the document first to understand the parameters right okay the file name is gone so we will be giving our custom file name the, f the original file was tar.gz it was a compressed archive okay so then so this is the unrecovery mode hyphen u this is the node 11,000 right I will scroll up so that you can see this over here yeah this is the inode this is the flag age date size file name so this is the inode right so here this is my file now if you want to if you if you want this file I don't know what this file is but you can look for this file even with another syntax minus s and then give the range between 300 MB to 900 MB it will display well it will display all these files but if you give between 500 to 900 MB it will display only this file with that minus S switch uh, I have already done that I will just show you yeah this one minus S 295 to 315 MB because this is around 300 MB I was looking for this file I knew the file size that is why I, the tutorial is about undelete because you know the file size, you know the file name, you know everything except you 
don't have the file. I got the file over here, 313-844-102. Um, yeah. Now we'll try to recover that file and save it somewhere else. So we've got the file, we've got the inode, we don't have the file name. So minus U is the recovery mode, minus I, here we have to specify the inode, minus D is the destination where we are going to save the file, slash media slash disk hyphen one. And minus O is the file name. So one dot 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 GZ because I don't remember the exact uh, file name and I remember the extension. So tar dot gz, actually it was a chrome os uh, dot tar dot gz. I remember the file. Uh, anyways, I press enter. Now it is trying to recover the file. Yes, undeleted success successfully. Now we will look for that file. With the gk sudo nautilus, I am going to open nautilus with uh, administrator privileges. I will browse to this uh, partition, disk minus one. And here I've got my file successfully recovered, 299.3 MB, 1.tar.gz. I will try to lo open with the Arch Manager, Archive Manager. Yeah, it's reading the archive. That means the file is healthy. It is perfect. 950 MB. It was compressed to 300 MB. I'm done with this tutorial. I hope you, if you face any problem, you can let me know. And um, yeah, another tutorial off screen, another off screen tutorial, that's what I meant. Mm, yeah, gotta go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.